fair warning, this video is about to dive into a more, <clears throat> a more personal story for me. It's crazy. It's been about 35 years, and hearing his voice again just brings back a lot of memories for me. This short video was shot over a couple of months as I thought about what I wanted to say and include. For continuity, I just kept wearing the same shirt. This video has nothing to do with homesteading. It honors a heroic sacrifice, shows how I've been learning how to fly my drone, and at the end, talks about the suicide of my best friend. With respect and gratitude, thank you for watching. I'm studying to become part 107 certified with my drone. I'll put a link in my video description to the YouTube video that I've been using to study for that exam. Passing the 107 exam actually has very little to do with being a good drone pilot. It goes into a lot of arcane aviation standards, but being able to pass a written exam doesn't mean you're actually a good drone pilot. For that, I just need practice actually flying the drone. There are a lot of tree hazards out at our place. So to practice flying my drone, I've been coming out here to a local park where it's a little more open and safe to fly the drone. I can practice some of the basic maneuvers and try out some of the fancier automated ones too. Run, the drone is fully autonomous. 
The drone is deciding how to fly to track my movements. The clip is sped up to keep things interesting, and because I wanted one long clip without cuts to demonstrate what the drone can do. I am being careful and had the controller ready if the drone needed to be stopped from hitting something. Had I hid behind a tree, the drone would just stop and not track me further till I stepped back into view and reselected myself on the controller. This is a special park. It's named after and has a memorial dedicated to a U.S. Navy SEAL. In honor of his service, I'd like to take the opportunity to read what's written on that memorial. A 1989 graduate of Oregon City High School, state champion wrestler, 20-year U.S. Navy SEAL veteran and registered nurse, Tyrone retired from the Navy and continued to serve our country as a protective service contractor for the CIA. On the evening of September 11th, 2012, the US diplomatic mission in Benghazi, Libya was attacked by Islamic militants. Tyrone and the six man CIA annex security team responded to their desperate situation. US ambassador J. Christopher Stevens and US foreign service officer Sean Smith perished in the attack. When the battle moved to the CIA annex, Tyrone and his team fought valiantly through the night against seemingly overwhelming odds. By sunrise on September 12th, Tyrone Woods and his friend, former SEAL Glenn Doherty, had fallen in battle as mortar shells struck their rooftop positions. More than 25 American lives were saved by their exceptional courage and heroic actions. I didn't know Tyrone, but as it turns out, he graduated from Oregon City High School the same exact year that I graduated from Sprague High School. Fair warning, this video is about to dive into a more, <clears throat> a more personal story for me. <clears throat> Let me say that again. Start lead with the name. That would be better. Okay. All right. Keep going. 
I'm here at Sprague High School in Salem, Oregon. This is where I graduated. Randy Frake was my best friend. We were virtually exclusive friends through grade school, middle school, and high school. He committed suicide our senior year, and that left a big hole in my life. There is no memorial for him here, but something I wanted to say, but there is something I wanted to say. Whoever you are, and whatever you have or haven't done in life, your absence will be felt by those who are close to you. Life is a gift. Depression is real, but it makes us believe the lie that life won't get any better. Randy Frake was brilliant with computers and a talented musician. His suicide was a tragedy and a terrible waste. If you or someone you know needs help, the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline number is 988. To end this video, I'm going to play one of Randy's songs. I thought I'd lost this tape, but I did an exhaustive search while putting together material for this video. It's crazy. It's been about 35 years, and hearing his voice again just brings back a lot of memories for me. I'll also overlay some photos of him and me, and at the very end, an artistic series of photos I did just shortly after he passed. We 
into a pathway over there. You ran your fingers through my hand. You don't want to be attached, but you want to be near. I respect your will and understand your fear. I have a picture of us inside of my mind, and if you could read it, here's what you'd find. We're we'll going up this pass, and it's a lovely scene. The trees stand tall, and the grass grows green. Ain't going nowhere, but it's a part of me, cause it's a lovely place to be. And all I got to say is, if you can't dance, and I will say. You can dance, and I will say. You can dance, and I will say.